McGraw. The book is called The War Reporter. So it was a stretch for you to write this book. <laughs> it was pretty tough. I know I drew upon a lot of experience, I have to say. Uh, tell us about uh, The War Reporter, because that'll get us into uh, what you've been doing with your life all these years. So The War Reporter is a novel. It's a book I always wanted to write. Um, it's about a um, what? It's about a, it's a love story, really. It's about war in Bosnia, and it uh, it was it was provoked by a, a little boy that I met once when I was in Sarajevo, and I couldn't. I never got him out of my mind. And I guess what? Twenty years later, I finally wrote the book that I wanted to write. Yeah. So it's a love story set in a war. S set in the war in Bosnia. Uh, a journalist. It's about post-traumatic stress as well. It's about a journalist, American journalist, his Bosnian fixer, translator. They, a terrible thing happens to them. They suffer from post-traumatic stress. And the rest of the book is how they, it's a journey, really. It's about how they come together, fall in love, and together finally overcome this terrible post-traumatic stress they had. Uh, many people talk about post-PTSD, uh, uh, but war reporters get it quite often, don't they? Sure. Sure, they do. I, I never did, I don't think. But I, I guess I have elements of it, but plenty the, of my friends did. They also say that, that covering a war, you sort of become addicted to it, don't you? The adrenaline rush? Yeah, they say that, but I don't, I, I don't think addiction is, is the right word. But there's definitely a lot of excitement, a lot of adrenaline. And that sort of ma you know, mixes in with this idea that you're doing something important. And in the end, I think maybe you, you, know, you, you sort of exaggerate your own self-importance a little bit. But in the end, you put yourself in harm's way to tell the world what's happening in other places. So yeah. uh, your accent is where? What's your accent? London town. You're, so you're English. an Englishman. I'm English. Yeah. You're an Englishman. Yeah. But you worked for NBC News, yep. and you spent uh, the other time covering the Bosnian War. I covered all of those, all of the, the 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 wars following the breakup of, of Yugoslavia. Yeah, gotcha. including yeah. Uh, as you watch, as an Englishman, as you watch what's going on in America, what are your thoughts? Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> it's like the end of the American century. This this Trump phenomenon is, you know, it, it, first it, it affects you directly day to day. But I think the world is just looking on in amazement at what American politics has come to. What are they saying in England about this? Uh, well, well, they can't believe it. I mean, it's just like, is this guy for real? I mean, eventually a politician at some point has to stand up for something. And no one has any idea what Donald Trump stands for. And yet he is, you know, he's on, a, he's on this roller coaster of support among certain Americans. Uh, it reminds me of what your uh, dear friend Winston Churchill said, right? America always does, always does the right thing after they've exhausted every other possibility. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, tonight, Martin Fletcher is going to be at uh, Gerbich Bosnian Restaurant, the Banquet Hall, uh, 4071 Kia Cook in uh, St. Louis for a book signing and a uh, book reading. You can go to meetmestlouis.org for a book signing and a uh, book reading. You were a television reporter. I was writing always in your blood. Um, I always wanted to write books. May I just emphasize one thing about tonight? Yes. It's not just a book reading. It's going to also going to be a very interesting discussion with a group called Focus, okay. which is uh, the Focus Marines Foundation. It's, it's um, veterans from the American Army who, who um, this organization helps them. They're going to be coming. We're going to be discussing, among other things, post-traumatic stress. Okay, sure. So it's going to be an interesting evening. Um, the, what was your question? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the question is right. So you, you always wanted to be a writer. I always wanted to write books. I guess every journalist wants to write a book, you know. And eventually I wrote, I wrote two non-fiction books while I was still with NBC, uh -huh. uh, when I was bureau chief in the Middle East. Um, but then when I started to write fiction, I realized you just can't do that. You can't, it's just too hard to write fiction and have a day job. So right. that's, why I, that's why I left NBC. Uh, so uh, the, the argument is that the American public has no idea what's going on around the world because... You can't sell foreign news. People just don't care about... They think they care about ISIS and Serbia and everything else, but really, nobody really cares. What's on TV? What are the, what are the Kardashians doing? That's what sells. Any truth to that? I think there's a huge amount of truth to that, and that's the challenge that people like I face. You know, we, our job is to make important things interesting because they are important. And yeah, sure, you know, we have the challenge of overcoming celebrity worship and all those kinds of stories that people are actually more interested in. And I've got to tell you, when I look at the page in Britain, you know, when I look at the newspaper, and on the left-hand side of the front page is Syria, and on the other side is William and Kate, I'm going to go to William and Kate first. Right. That's even me, you know. So certain things are more interesting than others. But our job as journalists, as storytellers, is to make important things interesting. And that's the challenge. And so how important is what's going on in Syria? How important is it to people here in St. Louis? 
probably directly not very important. But on the other hand, you do have, for instance, 60,000 Bosnians who have come to St. Louis um, to, to escape the war and devastation they're experiencing at home. So I guess there's a certain, even in St. Louis, and, um, a sympathy for those kinds of people. Otherwise, they wouldn't have come here, right? right yeah. And I, I, I hope, I imagine, they're a successful part of the community. So the same thing ha is happening in Europe. There's tremendous resistance in Europe today to the more than one million refugees from Syria who've come to hope, hoping for a better life in Europe and to escape violence. You know? And Europe, like America, is, is, a, is, an, is a continent that th has always thrived on welcoming people in trouble. My own parents were refugees, for instance, so it's not, I'm not the one who's going to say don't take them. Right. Well, one of the most underreported stories in the St. Louis metropolitan area is the Bosnian community that came over here 20 years ago. 10,000 of them couldn't speak English, didn't know what, what was going on, and now 20 years later, they're an integral part of the St. Louis community. Yeah, and that's what, what that's what's wonderful about America. Right, right. Sixty thousand strong, and they're they're now they're they've graduated. They uh, they've moved on. The next generations are sort of moving, you know, and they've been fully Americanized, and you know they're Cardinal fans and Blues fans, and you know they're just part of the fabric of St. Louis, which is what is the American story. Go the Cardinals. Yes. See, you there. <laughs> he's only been here a couple of days, and he's already a Cardinal fan. How about that? Uh, Martin Fletcher, our guest. The book is called The War Reporter. Uh, we can pick it up Amazon.com, bookstores anywhere, right? Everywhere, yep. And then you're going to be at uh, Gerbach, uh, Gerbach uh, Bosnian Restaurant tonight, Kia Cook. For more information, meet me, uh, meetmesaintlouis.org. All the money is going to this focus organization, correct? I believe so, yes. Yes. Uh, all right, good. Uh, Martin Fletcher, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, McGraw. You got it. Uh, meetmesaintlouis.org for more information. 945 here at Big